What I'm going to show you today is how you can view just two weeks from your, your schedule or from a longer schedule. So I have here a schedule that's only six weeks long, but I have made schedules for people that are more than a year long. And you know, when you're posting schedules or trying to manipulate uh, certain days in the, and whatever, you don't really want to have the whole year in front of you. You would like to have um, just two weeks to look at or a week possibly. And so on this one, um, so this is basically just copy from the other one. And this is the starting at the beginning of May and it's going for two weeks. And now when the two weeks are over, if this, uh, this lady decides that uh, she wants to look at the next two weeks, what she does is she changes this May 1st to May 15th. And then you go copy two weeks. And the schedule has now changed so that it's the next two weeks. Now, this is the place where you could, you know, if somebody wanted to take a half an afternoon off or the dentist or whatever, you could maneuver, maneuver, maneuver people around and change, put in the vacation or, uh, so I'll put a vacation in here and then we'll put um, a night in there. So, you know, this is this is where you could do it. And then this this would be suitable to be posted on a, a lunchroom wall or something else so that everybody knew where they're doing. So let me show you how I did this. So the code is called copy two weeks. And basically what it does is um, the start date is this, this cell right here where I have the May 15th right now. Um, and the range, copy range as a range, uh, C for column, R for rows, and C equals four and R equals three. So the start date is um, sheet two, and that's where I say I'm just showing it to you. And uh, sheet two cells five one is start date. Okay, so now we go to back to sheet one, and I'll just go back and forth between the code so you can see what we're doing. So um, if the active cell equals start date, so what they're doing is um, we're going from from here to there, along here, and if they if the active cell equals start date, then what you're going to do is arrange active offset equals one. You're going to go over, and then you're going to go down. You're going to go over 13, and you're going to go down 11, which is the whole sheet here, and you could change it to whatever your length is, and then um, you copy that, you copy that, and then you go to sheet two and you activate it, and sheet two cells. Um, six three and you paste all and then go to ND which is at the end here so so then you just copy from from this one and go to the other one and so that makes it very easy very very handy to just have to work with two weeks from a long schedule so that's how you copy two weeks from a long schedule please subscribe